shapes and techniques for use in Adobe Acrobat. I am Steve Dotto, this is Steve Fair, and this podcast is dedicated to helping you get more out of Acrobat. Now, Steve and I actually go back in this business for over 20 years, and I can remember as young buck salesmen, back 20 years ago, we were selling desktop publishing, and you spent like a whole day once creating a form in PageMaker. Do you remember? I do. And it was all about, you, you thought, businesses need to do forms. Desktop publishing is a way to do forms, and you tried to master it because you figured this was the end to a lot of businesses, and you weren't wrong. I was good on the form. Uh, we weren't good at selling, you know, desktop publishing back then. In fact, I think you and I just about prevented the desktop revolution <laughs> with our seminars we used to do. But no, I mean that taught me a lesson a long time ago that forms really do help you gather a lot of information really, really quickly and get stuff done. Mm -hmm. And that's what it's all about. And Acrobat has long been a, a tremendous tool for creating forms. This, it, it's almost it, 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 it's justifiable purchasing Acrobat just for doing forms creation alone. And Acrobat Nine. It just continues the tradition. It just gets a whole lot better. I mean, it, literally, if you have to ever do a form, uh, you need to take a look at the way Acrobat does it. And then you'll start to do more of them, because it really is great. And it gets you away from that whole exercise of creating a Word document, and then you email it to somebody, and then they print it, and then they you know, handwrite on it hand. and fax it back to you. Or something. It's just ridiculous. And, and that's one of the things people do, is they use the tool to create a form quite often in a, a nice digital version, because right. Acrobat's got the wonderful layout tools and that sort of stuff. But then they end up working in an analog world where it's printed out and sent back and forth. You don't have to do that with Acrobat. The tools are easy and accessible so that you can keep everything in a digital realm so that you can gather data. And if you've got 20 to 200 to 2,000 people to gather data from on a form, Acrobat, is, as far as I'm concerned, is the only way to go. Yeah, it, it's really cool. So let's go take a look at the way Acrobat does this. What I have up on the screen right now is a Word document. This is somebody's taken a lot of time to sort of create this really cool, compelling document. Many of our companies have thousands of forms that have already been converted to some form of digital document. Guess what? Acrobat's just going to quickly convert those to a, a living, breathing, viable digital form as opposed to the sort of half-baked digital form that we've got uh, in this particular Word uh, example. So the way we do that is there's a forms menu in Acrobat and there's a, a button, right? the first button, start from wizard. And this will literally take you through taking that Word document that you have, and it converts it to this beautiful form. And we have to point out, this doesn't have to be a Word document. This can also be an Excel spreadsheet, or it could be a scanned-in document that you have already in paper form. Scan a form that's in your company right now, and I guarantee you'll have it in a viable form in minutes after you've done the scanning, just using that wizard technology. Okay. And this is what it does. It's taken all of the fields that we had in our Word document, and it's converted those to more like a database field, something that you're very used to working in databases and things of that nature. So it's all ready to go. The fields have been done. You can tweak and tune here. You can make sure it's got the names right and all that kind of stuff, but this thing is ready to go. But it's an intelligently parsed the entire document. It's looked at name and it's recognized that should be a data field. Right. Address, that should be a data field. Right. Phone number, that should be a data field. And it's gone through the form and done that. So this is what the form looks like in its final in its final form in PDF. You can simply roll through here and click and all that kind of good stuff. So again, filling it in with Acrobat or the free Adobe Reader, really, really simple. But the cool part comes when you go back up to the forms menu, the form's done, now you want to distribute the form. And again, what this button is going to do is it's going to allow you to distribute this form via email, and guess what? It's going to allow you to get them hit the submit button uh, on the form, and that, e that submit button is going to bring all that data back into your inbox, and Acrobat is going to compile that all into a beautiful little form package. It's really, and really cool. This is almost magic. So what happened last night, <clears throat> you sent me this form, yep. you sent a, the form out to a few of us. It appeared in our Acrobat, in our Adobe Reader, we just clicked on the appropriate information and we filled out the form as if it any other information, any survey or anything along that line or order form. And then when we clicked submit, all of the information was embedded to send that data back to you in a form that you could then use it and you could then import it into your accounting package or into Excel for sorting. It's a magic tool. Right, and when you go back to the view responses, there's a button under the forms mm -hmm. menu called tracker and this is what you get. You can literally see that I've sent this form out to two people and they both responded. I mean, how annoying is it when you send something out, you don't even know if everybody's responded. This is taking care of all that for you. Again, no new technology to buy. You've got Acrobat and you've got an email client. People that you're sending to have a free Adobe Reader and you're done. And the, and, the, and the benefits are, some of them are subtle. For instance, you don't make mistakes of re information. Some of them are profound. You don't waste time 
re-keying information. I, I'm always amazed by this because people don't understand that this mm. technology is built in. It's almost almost too good to be true if you ever have to spend any time doing forms and managing forms. But businesses that grasp this, or business people that grasp this of power to be able to share and be able to share a form, be able to gather the data back that effectively, it's it's an amazing business tool. Yeah, I mean, companies get this. I mean, they've got a lot of form technology. You know, the IRS is probably the king of forms in America, and they send all their forms out in, in PDF. But you know what? We don't all have access to IT resources that can create that kind of form for us. Sometimes you can just use the form if you're, you know, you want feedback from 20 people, 50 people, 100 people. Well, your IT department's not going to do that for you, but Acrobat's going to do that for you. I think that's, that's the thing, is that you can have this form technology work and behave like an enterprise form capability, and it's right on your desktop. It's one of the most powerful features of Acrobat. It's one that I really get excited about. As you can tell, mm. it's one that you need to explore. Visit www.acrolounge.com and sign up to win one of 10 iPod Touches. Good luck.